Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Glenmorangie Nectar Door. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Glenmorangie Nectar Door. This is my third Glenmorangie core range of whiskey review. If you haven't seen my other two, I'll put a link in the description and you can check them out. This particular whiskey is a non-age statement single malt whiskey from the Highland Distillery, which is Glenmorangie. It's aged in ex bourbon casks and then finished for up to two years in ex Sauternes wine casks. It retails for £58 in the UK, it's 46% ABV and it is possibly coloured and chill filtered. Shall we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say that's like a light gold, but as I said, it is possibly coloured. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get with this is like um, heather honey. It's not overly sweet on the nose. I'm getting a hint of flapjacks. I'm getting some white grapes. And I'm also getting a hint of candy floss. Really is uh, quite interesting, but not overly sweet on the nose. Let's have a sip. Yeah, so the first thing I get with this is fresh apples. There's definitely that sort of orchard fruit sort of note that comes first. There's also a little bit of heat and uh, pepper, which follows, which is quite nice. But that freshness from the apples really is quite first and foremost. It really does come to the fore. Let's have another sip. Yeah, so I'm getting like juicy white grapes. There's also a hint of red fruits in there, um, like red berries. It's slightly tannic, slightly drying on the palate. And there's also um, a sort of hint of like Oloroso uh, sherry, which sort of lingers on the palate. In terms of finish, I'm getting um, like apple skin, I'd say it's also a medium length finish. There's a little bit of dry wood there, um, which is quite common for me with whiskey. And there's also some red fruits. In terms of value, well, this is £58 retail in the UK. It regularly is just a few pounds less than that at most retailers. And this is a particular whiskey which I was really looking forward to. I was expecting it to be a lot sweeter, a lot more dessert-like, especially um, having tried this once before. The memories I have of that bottle and trying it um, with friends doesn't live up to the experience that I'm getting from this bottle. I know there is um, different editions and releases, so obviously, it can change from time to time. And obviously whiskey isn't something that stands still. Every, uh, every uh, component that goes into it can be different. In terms of value though, I'd say at the sort of 56 pounds that this sort of sits at in most retailers, I think for me and the experience I'm getting, it's probably a tad too expensive. The other two uh, that I've tried um, in this series offer better taste and better value for money for my palate. So I definitely re recommend either of those. If you are a fan of Sauternes, well, maybe this will be up your street. And if you've had this before, and maybe my notes don't sound like your experience, let me know in the comments. I'd really be interested to hear your feedback. Hopefully you'll come back next week for some more. And in the meantime, sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? 
and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.